But uh, let's talk about today. The spotlight once again on the Adani Group stocks ending in the green for the third straight session. The group's overall market cap now crossing 11 lakh crores. Adani Ports has re recouped all the stocks, uh, stock losses that it had incurred since the Hindenburg report was published. Meanwhile, according to Bloomberg, Rajiv Jain's GQG Partners has up its stake in the Adani Group. Jain is also likely to participate in the conglomerate's future fundraising plans. Now, Vedanta has declared an interim dividend of more than 18 rupees a share for this fiscal year. This is the sixth dividend announcement by the company in the last 12 months. Hormuz Patakia joins us now with the details. Hormuz, the sixth dividend in one year. Tell us what's different this time around. That's right. And before I get into more details, let me just clear the basics first. And Vedanta on Monday night declared an 18 and a half rupees dividend for its shareholders. And as you said, over the last six instances, it has paid 120 rupees as dividends, which includes 101 rupees that it paid in FY23. But what is interesting this time around is the timing of the announcement as it comes just a week ahead of a $500 million debt maturity of its parent Vedanta Resources. Now Vedanta has been on the hunt for cash from its companies after its proposed $3 billion deal with Hindustan Zinc was stalled due to concerns raised by the government. Now, billionaire promoter Anil Agarwal has multiple times in the past denied reports of him planning any stake sale in the company. However, March quarter shareholding pattern shows that Vedanta Resources' stake in the listed entity was down to 68.1% from 69.69% in December. So now, based on this shareholding pattern, Vedanta Resources will earn 4,683 crore rupees as dividend, which when converted is equal to $564 million, which would mostly be used to repay that debt. Now, although shareholders have been richly rewarded so far, the question is whether this can sustain considering the upcoming debt maturities. As of the 31st of March, Vedanta had net debt of 45,260 crore rupees. And the muted reaction on the stock price is a possible outcome of this uncertainty. Hormuz, many thanks for joining us. It is day one of the